सो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे वी विल कम विद अ वेरी एक्साइटिंग अ न्यू वीडियो सो होप यू ऑल विल लाइक दिस दैट इज बेसिकली वी विल गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट हाउ टू एक्सट्रैक्ट अ वाटर शेड ओके बेसिकली द कैचमेंट एरिया एक्सट्रैक्शन यूजिंग आग जे एस प्रो सो दैट वील गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू एक्सट्रैक्ट एग्जैक्टली द कैचमेंट एरिया सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दैट so very first what we will going to do we are going to add our digital elevation data and over the digital elevation data we will going with some hydrological analysis tool we will going to use some hydrological analysis tool to extract that uh, accumulation zone okay so let's start with that okay so very first i have one data <coughs> so i am going to use that so that will be i'm going to use one digital elevation data <coughs> okay so i'm going to use this data sets it's a carto set dem digital elevation data it's 30 meter special resolutions digital elevation dem which i'm going to use for this particular analysis okay so let's see let's see the dem so now this is my dem the very first steps which you have to do over the dem that is you have to calculate the field corrections so from where we will going to do that so you just simply go to the analysis tab under analysis tab you have this toolbox okay so on the toolbox you can search here also or you can directly search in the favorite tool also but anyway i will show you over the toolbox under the toolbox you have the spatial analysis tool so under the spatial analysis tool you have hydrology okay so very first steps which you have to do that is a field corrections so fill and sink is the surface rusted to remove the small imperfections in the data so if there is any kind of imperfections is there or in a data gap will be there so that it will clear so before any kind of hydrology model you will going to start you have to run this field correction tool so simply click on the field correction so you need to give your dem as a input and wherever you want you can save it okay so like you can save this uh, you can go in a browser and you can save it but i am not going to save uh, i already fixed up location so there only i am just going to save this data okay so uh, let's start with that or you can just simply run it okay so we'll wait for the results yeah now it is my field corrected image will come so may will not uh, feel much changes over the field corrected image but yes if there is any kind of gaps on data gaps or something will be there so that will be corrected by the field corrections okay so we will going to start the next step so that will be the flow direction okay so we will go to the uh, next uh, tool you can see this is my flow directions will be there so i'm just double click on the flow directions i will give input of this field corrected informations okay for the flow directions okay and then simply run this model wherever you want to save so let's wait for the results so every eight directions how the flow directions is actually going to change so we will going to see that output over here okay so this is my flow directions outputs is ready now we'll go to the next step next step is basically the flow accumulations so now we will going to see where the total water will come and accumulate in our locations okay so that we will going to calculate so i am going to take this flow accumulations and simply i am going to give this flow direction field data sets which i just calculated okay and i will calculate in the float mode only the data type will be my float only okay so simply run and see the output how it is coming so let's wait for the output so this is my flow accumulations output is generated so if you see here this is how the flow accumulations area is actually coming so now if you want to enhance more the okay so you can change it using the um, histogram equalization so that you can see the other informations also like here i can go to the histogram equalizations and you can see more informations you can able to see it here like like all this or you can go for the standard deviations also okay so then uh, you can get better informations about the 
all the reverse okay so this is a kind of a enhancement thing we are doing the stretching over the pixels value so that's why we'll the the value which is not able to see properly so now it will be enhanced and we can see the image in a proper way so let's see the next step okay now what we're going to do so this is the output which is generated the accumulation zone we are finding out now we want to see we want to create some four points area okay so accordingly that four point area we are going to extract that particular catchment of that uh, particular streams which i want to see how much catchment data it can cover okay so that i want so for that we will going to create a, a shape file first okay so i will go in a catalog and in the folder uh, this is suppose uh, there only i am going to create okay so i am just going to do right click over this going new shape file okay so here i can give a name as a pore pore point so this is a pore and this i am just going to select it as a point file okay and uh, i am just going to give the coordinate systems of from this only <coughs> okay so that is obviously 94 <coughs> or uh, you can uh, give your uh, the coordinate systems what you want okay so from the map also you can uh, export the coordinate systems or you can export the coordinate system from these also okay so anyway i'm just going to run this and let's see the output so now my pore points is ready so i'm going to collect some pore points points area okay so let's wait for something and going to see the next steps how we're going to create the pore points and taking the pore points now we are going to uh, start taking a few points so i'm just going to take uh, one point here okay to see this particular streams where how it is actually flowing and then uh, we will move to the next points okay so let's see how we're going to take the points so one point i am taking here go to edit create four points and where you want the four points you can take from here suppose i'm just taking the first point here okay so another point i'm going to take over this yeah okay so these are the two points we are taking it okay so let ne next you just save this point first okay so you just save all edits so now we will move to the next step so to looking it be better you can increase the size of the points also okay if you want okay so if you just double click on this okay so there you have more chance uh, to fill a point like this and if you want to give the color you can change the color here also from this and if you want to change this color from this black red to you can make it as a green so that in the black you can very easily identify so if i clear this then i can able to see this two point very clearly okay so now move to the next step now move to the next step okay so that will be you have to go to uh, this geoprocessing tool and under this geoprocessing tool you have this snap to power points okay so if you click on this now you are going to use this two point for this snap to power point options okay so let's see how we'll do that so before starting this you can add the uh, id fields in your attribute table if you go here in attribute table you just see this fid is creating automatically and if you want to add the id user value so you can add this is the id 1 and this is for your id 2 okay so now you want to save it you can save it save all edits and you just see now uh, it is now saved properly okay so now we will go and do the same snapping points over that okay so let's do that now now let's run that particular tool so if i go in this analysis toolbox and then see under hydrology we have snap to power points so i'm just going to select uh, this particular file over here so like uh, flow accumulations no no this is your input port points data i'm just going to add that okay so here i'm just going to use my id field and then input accumulation raster i can give my flow accumulations raster file okay so let's see snap output points so there's a new raster file which is going to create so let's run it and you will see now you see if i zoom it 
if I switch off this power point so now you can see this is the power points which is created here one and another one is your this side <coughs> so this one so you just see see this is the another power point is now created okay so let's start next part now we came to the final uh, steps that is we are going to uh, extract the watershed of that particular place okay from this particular pool points which we are actually created so for this i'm just going to click on this watershed okay and now i'm going to uh, give input the d8 flow direction raster so you can give uh, the this one is the flow direction field raster points and input raster for the feature pore points which we just created okay that is snap spot one snaps for, for one so that i'm just going to give and now let's see uh we will run this tool so with that uh, we can extract this watershed boundary on this particular place so let's see the output let's wait for the output first see now now from that particular four points so these are the watershed boundary which is just very nicely created so this is actually a very useful uh, tool okay so whenever you are going to uh, design or some doing some analysis for uh, suppose macro or micro watershed area you are going to do some planning okay so then uh, you require a, a separate watershed boundary you require not require the basin boundary see basin also you can able to calculate okay so if you have this is the basin area is also there okay so from this if you give uh, this flow direction raster okay so flow direction uh, field okay so that is if you give it okay so this is the basin or uh, big river basins it is actually going to extract from this okay which i already showed in my last lecture you can please go and check okay but this is small and micro watershed whenever we are going to plan so usually we are identifying some particular river locations where it is actually started so there we are going to create our pore points which i just showed you and that particular pore points what is the extract area of the watershed where water can actually travel and we can use this water for different kind of planning and monitoring so that basically uh, this watershed uh, how we are actually going to create and extract the watershed boundary so this is the very beautiful and very much easiest process on this okay so now if you want to convert uh, this boundary uh, in a vector file so it will be very easy to do that so suppose you just see here we have here raster to uh, vector conversion or you can say if you go in up with this and you can simply raster to polygon so you can give input of your this watershed flow one as your input and you can simply run it so then basically you will get a, a boundary okay so that is boundary so if you see you can uh, able to select the two points okay so there is two points so whatever you want to select so that will going to select you and it will going to show you see this is the select one okay for or you can use this uh, tool for the selection also and if you want to extract this boundary and this boundary so that also you can extract according to you so that is basically <coughs> how we are actually design a watershed boundary accordingly we are doing a different kind of work whenever we are uh, understanding the first order streams and that particular water boundary so accordingly we can create uh, you can say the step binding okay like water is actually flow and the water was wasted so this is we applied in sujala watershed development program okay so in that area is actually drought prone area and in that particular drought prone area we are actually using this particular tool we are identifying this particular watershed and we wherever there is a flow channels so there we did uh, so many um, step bindings or you can say contour uh, binding we are actually did so where the water is actually flow and it was wasted and slowly slowly the water was uh, stored in that particular area where we are actually giving the strange binding or the contour binding and this water is go underground and it is increasing the groundwater level so that is how uh, we are actually um, uh, use this technology to real world applications in sujala watershed development program so uh, that is a very nice example uh, for this particular watershed analysis so if you want to know more just go in google and type sujala watershed development program so you will get a very good implementations of this particular analysis thank you very much i hope you, you all like this and it will be very useful for everyone thank you thank you very much please subscribe my channel and please uh, wait for the next video thank you thank you very much